Stop stop taking what anybody does against the New York Knicks and thinks it's a thing. You exactly. did this with Trey Young. Yeah. You idiots did this with Trey Young, where you sat there and you swore Trey Young was the next great NBA villain because he shut up a couple bobos from the Bronx. Oh my God, the Mecca, he shut down the Mecca Ice Trey. And now what? Now he looks like a child. He looks Ice like cold. a baby. Ice cold. Did PJ Tucker tell him it's too like short. being guarded like a baby? He, he did the too small. No, he did the too small. But somebody, I saw somebody on Twitter say they, they did like the lip reading. He's like, I think it's he's like being guarded like a ba- by, by by a baby, which is just so demeaning. <laughs> what he does, he looks like a baby. He, he's got hair like a baby. He does. He does. He has baby hair. He should sit in a high chair on the bench. They should. They should put a bib on him. And it should say heat in five. <laughs> and give him a should, binky. Give him a binky. You, 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 he's going to walk in that building tonight, and Jimmy Butler's going to pick him up. He's going to burp him. A little spit up over him. He's like, it's okay, Trey. You tried. You tried. You tried, buddy. Let me move on. That's him after game two. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you guys shooting it from 45 hey. feet away. By the way, mm-hmm. by the way, so in my own investigative work, I usually see, you know, all the other sports stations, you know, because Boston's pretty big, Philly, you know, I check out, you know, like who's, you know, who's getting getting people, you know, on Twitch. Now, I will say this, early in the morning, we're stars, right? Except this morning. When I look at one WEEI. Now, I've been watching, you know, keeping the track. And for the last four four shows we've done, they've had like 70, 50, 60, right? Last night, the Celtics beat the Nets. Yep. 600 people are now on okay. Twitter. Oh, oh my, come on, front runners. That. Oh, my God, we're going to do this. I can't believe it. It's it's going to be it. I, 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 I'm I loving it. Go ahead. You know, they uh, they got their little series. Only team to, uh, to get a sweep. Good for them. Uh, you know, we'll see what happens against Milwaukee. Milwaukee doesn't have uh, Chris Middleton, so that's going to be tough on them for sure. I don't know, but, like, the thing that's going to be interesting about this is, like, am I really looking at a situation right now? Because I don't really fear either one of these teams the Heat are going to take on in the next round. But am I really looking at a situation where I'd rather take on the Sixers because I just don't want to deal with pain in the ass wingspan all over the place? Because I genuinely think, like, a busted up Joel Embiid and a bum James Harden, like, it's, I, don't, I'm, I don't fear that series at all. At all. The Jimmy Butler uh, revenge series. Oh, There's a, oh dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's a couple of things is is that one, you're right about everybody's built like Bam on Toronto. Right. And all they all look like the the wind socks. Yep. <laughs> like <laughs> um and 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 that in itself is is just terrifying when you don't have a true big that can can beat them up. Uh right. the other thing is do we really, do we really want to play Toronto with Preston Chichua balling? Uh, revenge series? Ugh. I mean, it's juicy either way, right? Because it's going to be no. Kyle Lowry versus his former team, or it's going to be Jimmy versus his. So, yeah, but, 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 but Kyle's Chua, isn't. Kyle's Kyle was isn't, ready to move on because he was a little bit older, and they did it was him a, a solid. Yeah, it was. I mean, it Kyle was, loves them so much in Toronto. Oh my god! Right. Yeah, he 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 loves Toronto. I mean, I don't but even. Precious think they, wanted to be here. Oh yeah, I, but like Precious wasn't a he wasn't a, 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 on the Heat long enough. I feel like for anybody to have an attachment to him, like by the end of his rookie season, he wasn't even playing anymore. You know. Yeah. So says, says Mr. Press Swish over here. I love the Pre- dude. I love Precious at Chew. I wrote I wrote a Precious at Chew a song. Maybe we should you play did. that today in you celebration. Did. I did. See if it's in there. See if my Precious Chua song's in there. It's got to be in there. I got to feel like it is. I wrote it to he, uh, Hey There Delilah. He had one game in double digits and dude made a song. I liked Precious You think Chua maybe you overdo it? No, I don't. I, actually, no, I don't. Like somebody said yesterday, they're like, oh, Tobin, look at these guys you invest in, Duncan Robinson. 
You really whiffed on that one. I'm like, oh, I did. Biggest contract ever to an undrafted player. I guess I whiffed. And now shoot loose. Shooting is so shooting is so finicky, man. Why don't people? Why do people think Dunk's supposed to be out there just making five to six uh, threes <laughs> well, every night? Well, let me. Well, I'll tell you this. He's out there's a, a a relative term because now he plays single digits minutes. Hey, that's you know why. Because it, it, like he goes into the game now in the game, Duncan Robinson <laughs> foul. Oh. Duncan Robinson, he's like, yo, we even play five. We didn't even play I really don't understand. yet. It's coming. Did, yeah, he really yeah. shouldn't worry about foul trouble with Duncan Robinson. He's hockey. only gonna hooking. <laughs> they always do stuff with their hands. I just don't like. They'll do the number and then they'll do something like that. I like Brett Shachua. I don't know what to tell you. I did. It, it, yeah, listen, you got to do the cost of business. I get it, you know, to get Kyle Lowry here, but I liked him. And if you can tell, hold on, you can tell me the Heat are going to go and turn uh, Max, all respect, Max Struess into a star and they couldn't do anything with Brett Shachua? Come on. Of course. But you got to, you know, a lot of times, a lot of times, though, and, and this happens with Heat players, right? When you come in, they want you to play a role. Yep. And you don't know the actual talent that these guys have. And then they go somewhere else. And then you look, you see him and you're like, I didn't know we could do that. And, and, and so son, that, that's kind of how this kind of how it is. Ten lines brought to you by the new Palmetto Ford Truck Super Center. Why about your truck at a car store? Palmetto Ford, we know trucks. It's interesting that you say that too, because I was thinking about this during the uh I was thinking about this during the awards with uh, with Defensive Player of the Year that came out, right? And, you know, Bam obviously won the award very much. And and Tyler Hero thinks like he's going to win. It's very much a shoo-in that he's going to win Sixth Man of the Year. It'd be shocking and stunning if he didn't. I can't imagine there's more dopes out there than John Hollinger and Mark Stein. I really can't. Um, but I do wonder that when it comes to the Heat players, right, that there is – such an embodiment of quote unquote heat culture that a lot of it, I feel like stifles star power. And I wonder if that, if that, if they like that, I mean, like they they clearly do a great job of ingraining that into them because Tyler hero has been clear that he wants to be a starter. You know, he still says it. And it's like, it's not even like controversial anymore. He's just like, yeah, flat out. I want to start. But he also always says the goal is a championship. I'll do whatever the role is. Same thing right. with Bam. He fit into that role. What was his role starting into this thing? He probably thought he should have been playing ahead of Whiteside coming into this thing. And it was like, my role was defense. That's why it means so much to him because that's how he got on the floor. And so you now see something with Precious Chua where it's like, all right, he was going to be here. They were going to try and have him empty the gas tank, play as hard as possible, show you could do that, and then we'll give you more. And now you kind of see in, in Toronto, they're like, they let him spread his wings a little bit more and let him do it faster. And so I do wonder with the Heat, which has not traditionally been a organization that lets young guys play important minutes. And then now that is kind of shifting over the last five years, um, but it's still usually in bite-sized increments. Tyler was a little bit faster because he was just so dynamic in his rookie season. Right. But I, I do want, but it's, he's still in year three and he's coming off the bench, which he doesn't want to do. And they gave him like a stint of two weeks to start, which he wanted to do. And it's still the role, the role, the role, the goal is championship. The goal is championship. You know what they it's run like a college team because when you see the numbers of some of these kids that go to Duke, North Carolina, the guy ends up going first or second in the draft and he averages 12, right? Like it, it, it's, you know, they, they play roles in, in college. And now what makes it different in the NBA is, is that, even though you play a role on a on this team and they do that with everybody, it still doesn't stop you from getting paid. You see what I mean? So they still take care of their guys. Like if you're a max guy, you're a max guy, you're going to get the max. Even if the role that we're asking you to do doesn't seem like you're a max on another team, you're a max here and we're going to take care of you in that way. Same thing with all the other guys that get contracts, the Duncan Robinsons. You know, all these guys that get contracts, they go, hey, this is your role, but we're going to pay you because we know what you could get elsewhere. Just don't get discouraged by the role you have here. And I think yeah, that's even, part of the reason why everybody accepts it 
simply because it doesn't stop you from having a career and you're winning. But I think the thing that's interesting is like, D, you know, D-Way would always say back when, you know, he was, he was very quiet. He was kind of reserved. And obviously he was a, a star talent out of the gate with winning playoff series and all that. But he really didn't start uh, carrying himself like a star until Shaq got here because Shaq would almost tell him like, hey, you, you, you don't do that. You're a star. Like you're Flash. Right. It gives him the nickname right. Flash. Gives him that identity. Says it's different now, Dwayne. You got to realize, you you know, you, it's not. And I'm not even just talking about basketball stuff. He's talking about just like the off the court stuff, how you carry right. yourself. Where in this, you have Bam and you have Tyler, and their vet star is Jimmy, who is the face and is famous. Like he's got the national commercials and all that, but he's also like, oh, he's he's very deflective. He doesn't want anybody to care because he's not Shaq. Like he's a number thirty draft pick who came up right. out of nothing and was a scrap guy. So. I don't know if there's those guys that are just like, oh, you 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 don't have to do more or carry yourself more as a star, even though, you know, maybe in other organizations it would be the case. Yeah, but guess feels- what? Guess what? Here, here's the deal, and here's what's amazing about everything you just said. Tyler is considered the star as as a whole, whereas Jimmy might be a better overall basketball player he oh, is. is not about he's not about all that stuff, right? But Tyler, he is. So, like, yeah, I, I, I just think that Tyler is a star in his own way, right? Even if he comes off the bench. And that's what makes it even more impressive. Is that it's pretty hard this early in your career to be considered a star and you don't even start. Right. Right. So like, but I also if, think that's still, that's still something that you is used against him too. Like a national, con, like a national, sure. it's, it's so antiquated that people still do use it against Tyler as like, I remember, I remember Charles Barkley saying this early in the year that he only plays against scrubs, you know, right. Like, Cause you know, Charles Barkley's watching like 30 seconds of heat basketball before he goes in. And why do, why do we let that man get us all riled up? Ah, no, he, just, he, he doesn't, get, he doesn't. He doesn't get well, me not not Leroy, but I mean Tobin. Tobin, Tobin, like yeah, that gets him going. I mean, watch him game. Like, just Heat fans in general. If he look, Barkley. if if a national guy doesn't watch the Heat and his comments reflect that, why do we give him the time of day? Because this is the reason why Marcus Smart wins an award he doesn't deserve. This is the exact thing I talk about because they get to you get to have three podcasters and two analysts craft the entire national narrative of something. So if you have a uh, little Willie Simmons out there. Going and saying, and Zach Lowe is doing his low post thing where he's also giving it to a Celtic. And then you have Charles Barkley telling you, oh, Tyler, you're only plays against scrubs because they haven't watched three seconds. It, it bothers me because do your damn research. Not everything has to be about the Nets who lasted four games. Really? We talked about really? Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Oh this needs to be God. said. I need to say something. We spent 80% of this season nationally of your nba content talking about teams one that didn't make the playoffs and one that lasted four mother bleeping games and that was it what a waste of time when you should have been talking about the damn miami heat you bums you charlatans you sheep get ready get hey Go get your go get your heat media guides, everybody. Go learn how to properly say Max Struess's name. All right, because because you have no. If anybody calls him Max Struss in the conference finals, you're gonna have a problem with me. Mike Breen would never do that. Of course not. He's a pro's pro. You know. Problem. This guy. This guy. Do you know? You just got on somebody about doing research, mm-hmm. and you have been criticized for doing the same thing. Chris Fowler oh, from Chris Fowler. That's different, though, dude. I'm a no, fan of that. Spot. I'm, I'm such a fan of that spot. That's not the same. <laughs> wait, wait. wait. I got to back my guys. Here's the most amazing thing about that. You had the audacity to respond. 
and say no. I'm going to just throw them to you and go in there with swag. That's right. You did not do the research? I did not. So Miami Heat will be back in action tonight. 7 o'clock, game five gets going tonight from FTX Arena. I'll be boots on the ground, BOTG tonight. Uh, So excited about that. Uh, fan with good access. No, th- I'm not a fan with good access, dude. Yes, I- I'm doing are. a job. I'm doing a job. How come we right? never hear about the job you got to do? And we hear about more about everything else. Well, I talk about the job I did usually the next day. You know, uh, we have a radio show to do. I get to talk to you for four hours. So I figure I just I save all the good stuff. Uh, Except when there's Floyd Mayweather. I got to tell you what he's doing. You know, especially when he's wearing high heels. <laughs> Have to. You want to uh, you want to hear a little of, uh, WIP this morning? Sure. You want to tune into Philadelphia Radio? Right, let's fire up the Odyssey app here, and uh, let's hear what they're saying after uh, Philadelphia loses Game Five. They're now only up three two on the Toronto Raptors, and really probably should be down three two if we're really talking about how this series uh, should have gone. Then with yep. that crazy overtime precious make, game, Precious make a couple of free throws. Yep. Yep. And so. They uh, I, I, I sense some nerves. I sense some nerves this morning in Philadelphia, not only because they, they feel that their basketball team is just a doomed franchise, but also they have Doc Rivers, who uh, Doc Rivers blows himself some serious leads. That's what he does. Now, never done 3-0, but eventually something, eventually the first time for something has to happen, like a 16 beat a one. It, it sometimes there's going to be a first. Of somebody blowing a 3-0 lead in basketball. You, you don't want to be that guy. Listen, Sixers. Don't lose game six. Don't you lose game six because you know what you have in game seven. The most powerful force known to man. James Harden in a game seven. <laughs> hey. You want to talk about you want to talk about nuking your chances. You got I, James I gotta Harden. You. I thought that was going him. a different direction. Don't lose. I'm telling you right now, you better go win in Jurassic Park. Hey, Don't hey, lose game six. I thought you were going to go along the lines of anything can happen. Game seven is a crapshoot. You go, you have the great equalizer, James Harden. Yup. Here's WIP this morning. Going there, it's going to be a lively atmosphere. I think that'll be great for us in a crazy way. I think we'll be ready for that. Excuse me, you well, just had have. a lively atmosphere here yeah, in your show. Side. Yeah. <laughs> Where yeah. your your hope Toronto motivates you? Oh my God. Did he say that we yeah. have another gear? Another to go gear. Through? There's yeah. another gear. They haven't shifted into the last well, gear do yet. Do they think this is a regular season I game? I don't in know February? what they, Rhea, I don't get it. Doc is gonna kill this team. He's horrible. <laughs> I didn't think that guy actually talked like that. Oh no, that's how we no, talk. That's how we talk, dude. That's how we talk. <laughs> He's horrible. They need Toronto to motivate him. You're dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> you think they do that to us? Uh, I I think if they tune in to us, they wouldn't know what hit them. They're like, what what is this? What why is there a song about pressure Chua? <laughs> They're mocking us. <laughs> Uh, I was so excited. I was I was hoping we were gonna get the double whammy though, because I was hoping it was gonna be. I thought I was hoping that Boston could just let that one slip away yesterday, and we could tune into WEI and WIP this morning. Just go around the dial doing some grief listening. It makes me so happy. It makes me so happy. Horrible. He's horrible. What like? <laughs> I mean, oh it, man, it's kind of crazy. Hmm? That they go from nice, calm, mellow radio show, right? The Sixers have a chance to win it all. We're just competing with Boston and Miami. You know, we're we're better than we have Joel Embiid to now in the in the course of what three days, four days? Like their attitude is just totally like different. Like, relax, man. It's a seven game series. I don't know. Like, dude. would you have liked to have been done? Sure. But the fact that it matters, you're still up three two. They got to win the next two games. And I don't think Philly has Philly had a four game losing streak all year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, asking the city of Philadelphia to calm I mean, down. Leroy, first of all, 
uh, you're, you're forgetting two things. One, Joel Embiid's playing with a busted thumb. I know. And and two, James Harden is a bum. So he's playing with two bums, a busted right. thumb and a busted bum. Ah! <laughs> I got a point. Ah! <laughs> point for Leroy. The two oh. busted. Uh, you know what? It, it's weird because. I still, in moments like this, think James Harden could go out and score 50. Yeah, and he never good. does it. But I always think he's going to do it. Dude, he doesn't look as good. I'm telling you. I though. know. He, he doesn't like, have that. He's he, holding he, out hope. Even, this quick, even his, his, his quick dribble between the legs before he does step back three looks slow. It's Dude, like, yeah. doom, 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 doom. Like, yeah. It's something. Man. So I'll tell you another thing that annoys me about Boston too. Like, really? there's more. Know, I gotta watch this. I, yeah, oh, dude. I thought I, I gotta we touched watch, them all. You know, these the Celtics. Like, I, I go out there and I'm watching the game yesterday. And it's like you got a, a national commercial with Paul Pierce, national commercial with Kevin Garnett. Hey, you guys won one championship. Where's Birdman's? You know, where, 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 where's his commercial? You ever think about that? You ever think about that? Where's his commercial? Where's Mario Chalmers commercial? He got more championships than both of those guys. You don't have any true, any commercials. Ridiculous. Waste of my time. They're, they're so obsessed with Boston. I mean, Annoying. and 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 everybody's and everybody was all gun ho about Philly except Philly. Dude, I'll tell you another thing too. Didn't hear it. I better be hearing this week about Philadelphia being rats off a ship cuz they ran out of that building yesterday. Because you know, <laughs> you bet your ass if that, was, if that was Heat fans. Like, I hear that uh, Chris Mad Dog Russo. This is originally how we got rats off a ship. He was the guy who said, oh, Miami fans, rats off a ship, game six. That's where that comes from. And he was talking about this yesterday, uh, last week when he was on with Stephen A. And he's like, uh, awful sports town, Miami. Well, you guys kissed Philadelphia's ass being such a great sports town. How come they didn't hang around down 16? Hey, where were they? The where were game they? Six. I'm telling you what. It was a fire drill up in that building. They got the hell out of there. They got <laughs> soon the as hell that out looks, of there. soon as and you know when it happens when when the, the other team, the visiting team makes that bucket and and puts the game away. You're like, oh hell, let's go. A rat's off a ship. Nobody ever there. says no. Let's stay till the end. The only reason why you would stay to the end in one of those games is because you want to let the parking, you want to let the traffic die down. But you want to leave. They all want to leave. I don't even know what the point of leaving a heat game early is. Ah, what? I go and do media, and sometimes I'm sitting in traffic after being there an hour and a half after the game. There's still That's traffic. What I'm I don't know. I don't know what you guys are trying to beat. You're gonna sit in traffic, especially when it is is everybody every area in South Florida doing uh, construction. Oh, construction, dude. It, yeah. I mean, it is such a roll that I. We should heat, have a 2050 looking highway system. We have, when they're done, because they've been doing construction now for about 15 years. When I'm trying to get hit in I-95 North, leaving a heat game, it's like you got to go into the bat tunnel. Like, where, where, right. what is this exit a, I'm getting It's a roller coaster. Of? What the hell is that thing? I pass it's it up so and end up on the other side of the bay all the time because I, I yeah. missed the detour. I look, I, I'm like, is this a Hot Wheels? What is this? Why are these, why are these turns so sharp and there's so much concrete? around right. here who decided to build this Leroy ends right. up in the tunnel I, that, and to be fair that happened to me the first time I went to that arena for work are oh, you talking about for the port yes Man. I actually, I got off the wrong exit and I ended up going into this I'm like where the hell am I going Sneaky right <laughs> you like, it is though it is and the thing Sneaky. is it's not like you could just hit the next u-turn it's like once you start across the bridge or the tunnel you're like damn now I no, gotta figure stuck. out how to turn around on the other side and I'm like, uh, like I called Tobe. I said, Tobe, hey, um, uh, yeah, I'm I'm downtown. Yeah, I'm in Miami. Phone a friend, but I'm not quite there. I don't know where I am. I'm scared. I don't know where I am. And I go down there all the time. It is brutal. Yeah, 95 but look, sucks. Guess what? The 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 Philly fans, right? Here's the funny thing. So tonight the Heat play. Yep. You best believe they gonna watch the heat and, and try to find you know oh look at these guys hey, we're about we're about philly y'all not done no you're not done i thought they were gonna be done i was like oh they're gonna for sure gonna win tomorrow come on 
And it, it's it's, they a, got it's the, a dude. They, it's a weird they, thing. They not though, only like, but they not only lost, dude. They got their ass kicked. Like they were down double yeah. digits that entire game. Yep. That yep. entire um, game. When Precious dropped, when Precious blocked Joel Embiid, I was like, oh, oh come on, dude. All you got to do is tippy toe. You can dunk, and you getting blocked at the rim. So uh, by it'll the way, be Barry interesting Jack, to see, huh? Barry Jackson tweets out, uh, "Heat second round series doesn't start until Monday, regardless of anything." Uh, presuming the Heat, it is even if the Heat shockingly is not in the series, and the Heat bracket won't start until Monday. So. Well, you need to finish this off because big picture, you don't want any other team that you may face to have a significant amount of time to rest. Yeah, and, and Kyle, don't. I don't think I've mentioned it so far on the show today, but Kyle Lowry is out tonight, which I I think is the smart move because I think you can beat them without Kyle Lowry, and then that would mean Kyle Lowry gets but over here, and here, 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 here. Question. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just throw this out there. Mm -hmm. Injuries don't work like that. If you're out, you're out. If you're in, you're in. It doesn't matter like what the only extenuating circumstance is a game in which you can be eliminated. Well, here's the thing, though. I, I see what you're saying, but Kyle Lowry before the last game, he will. It, they listed him as questionable. Like, And he was saying, oh, I'm a game time decision. I'm hour to hour. I'm going to play. Did he compare Did himself see to Wolverine? That? He called it well. He, he he's called himself Wolverine multiple times, but yes, he called himself Wolverine. I'm a Wolverine. What? <laughs> That's what he said. Short legs and stocky. What? No, great ass. <laughs> when was the last time you saw Wolverine and say, "Look at the caboose on that thing"? What, what oh, you ever see what that uniform does for his cheeks? <laughs> I think he means Wolverine like the superhero because he regenerates. <laughs> oh, <laughs> got a great ass. <laughs> What is wrong? Jay just goes, what is going on on the Twitch? I don't know. Come on, join the fun. This is, this is great. <laughs> like, uh, what? This is one of those conversations where you want to give like some type of explanation as to why. And you, you can't. You can't like just just like out of the blue. He's got a great ass. Like, ooh, <laughs> like, wow, how can we function like that? Yeah, the hammy's very close to the ass. The ha you, you were muted, J Fig. <laughs> say again. What? So, what do you say about people that don't have an ass? The hammy goes all the way up into their back. Yeah, it's like me. That you focus a lot on people's cabooses. Yes, he does. No. Not That's a lot all of you ever. Speak. Not a lot of people. First of all, if you're watching the Heat game and you're not focused on Kyle Lowry's ass, I don't know what to tell you. I focus on the game. Do you? Especially like when he does the thing where like they do the slow mo and they do they show his little rise up. Oh, so you, you know? also watch it in slow mo? Of course. How could you not? What? Do you, Leroy? Like right? How? No. <laughs> Dude is like an Instagram model. Telling you, Instagram nobody else model. thinks this, especially basketball shorts. Not the you most know, flattering thing. Kyle, Kyle Lowry, matter. when Kyle Lowry does a commercial for suits, you know what they say? We have suits in all sizes. Do you think that he wears apple bottom jeans <laughs> and boots with the fur? Boots with the fur. <laughs> <laughs> we're, gonna, we're going to hell. <laughs> like, 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 no, nobody's gonna like us. Like, like, <laughs> Where has this gone? I'm so confused. This, so confused. This guy, this guy. But like, we, we, he talks about being boots on the ground. That every conversation we've had about the game has nothing to do with the actual game. Caboose, right? The caboose and strips. <laughs> <laughs> what imagine? if Eric Reed, Eric Reed should do that every time? <laughs> every time Kyle hits a three, caboose. <laughs> <laughs> what if? What if you know they do the bright line that takes them down? From uh, they they're always advertising that. What if at the end of the bright line is Kyle Lowry? Just a shot of him from behind. Oh, so so the 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 bright line could stop. Boom! You gotta put put the caboose on the caboose. <laughs> <laughs> 